Hey y'all, this is the Southern Sim again with you with another um, speed build remodel. <laughs> I actually remodeled the Christmas house. It's now, if you, it's up for uh, available in the gallery to download under the Stanley House because um, I just decided to remove all the lights and all the. Uh, Christmas decor and stuff and then change all the coloration on a lot of the stuff so that way it would look more normal like a regular house because not not everybody would want their house to be decorated like the Christmas all year round so I wanted to make it to where if anyone wanted to download this house you know with it already decorated on a normal setting they would have the option to do so so you know I, it took me a little while to actually get it to where I wanted it because I changed the walls <clears throat> I changed a lot of the pictures I changed I t also I put the, the young boy in the middle bedroom and the girl that was in the middle bedroom I put her in the outside bedroom where the boy was sleeping so that way the since it was a younger child he's a little bit more protected being on the inside of the house instead of having an outside part of the house to be his bedroom so um, I decided to do that I don't know why I wasn't thinking that in the original build but it worked out because I was able to redecorate his room and yes I'm gonna tell you after listening to one of the youtubers I listen to um, occasionally a comment that they made about the fact that we didn't have um, bunk beds I, I yeah I know we don't have bunk beds but I finagled because really all I really wanted was the look of bunk beds because it's just him I thought you know if I could fix it up like he had bunk beds that way if he ever wanted to invite a friend over to stay with him you know he has an extra bed so that's what I wanted it to look like as if I had uh, actually that I had actually set it up to where we had two beds in his room even though technically only the bottom one works but uh, hey it turned out really good I really liked the outcome when I finally got it together and and you know worked out the way I had it in my in my head just thinking about trying to get some kind of bunk beds so um, it's really cute it's all it's up available on the gallery for download uh, look it up under the Stanley house though this time it's not under the Christmas house it's just under the Stanley the Stanley house so you you, you should love it it's because I put more normal coloring for the furniture like in this room for this this girl um, I'm trying to think I think it's Morgan's bedroom this end up being but or Mer no it's Meredith Meredith's bedroom Morgan has the back bedroom she has the front bedroom but Meredith I made her bedroom be more pink in color her bed is pink she's got a hot pink carpet or rosy colored carpet and then the white overlay so it's not overly drive you crazy <laughs> but most of the color in there is pink with just a few added touches of a rosy colored pink and then just adding a few extra things I gave her a yoga mat so she'd have a place to exercise and stuff so you know I just worked out a few things here for her to give her some some odds and ends which you'll get to see here soon with the when the screenshots come up how things are you know the layout looks so some of the layout change like where the tree was there in the living room that little small section I decided to put a chair and two chairs and a table you know if someone wanted to sit and read off away from the, the living space there I, there's a space to just sit and read and so I fixed that up um, this bedroom here I did it more of a yellowy yellow scheme even though that one carpet there has like a, um, a rainbow effect I thought that would be pretty cool because it give more colors in the bedroom um, then uh, the kitchen 
I go in the dining room and change all those colors and just trying to work that out to give that more of a neutral kind of vibe without losing the actual look. So there was a, a lot of things I just I changed. But in the master bedroom, I didn't change a whole lot in there. I just took away most of the, you know, anything that was Christmas related. Anything else was just a color way, you know, just a red color and then green. I just took out any green accents, except it, plants, of course, because, you know, plants look okay. So I didn't work that out of the room, but I did work out anything that made it look like Christmas. <clears throat> So, you know, in this office here, I just, I took away that one rug and just left the, the bottom one there I chose. And I could have left the green color in the room, but I decided to put it more of a neutral color because that way, if someone wants to change things up, it's easier to change just your decorative items than it is to change the whole wall. <laughs> So I made the walls more of a neutral color. That way that, you know, if someone did want to change my thinking and make it more of their own, they could leave the walls if they wanted to or they could change them. It's completely up to you. It's your sins. I want everyone to take what, you know, if they like the layout but they don't like my colorways, the what I chose, change it. Make it your own because I'd probably do the same thing with your stuff if I downloaded yours. I'd want to make it more colorful. <laughs> If it wasn't, but I, I wish I could have found a fireplace that looked more like the one I had just without the decoration. So Sims, are you paying attention? We would love to have the fireplace from the Christmas one, but just without all the Christmas vibes. Because that's a pretty fireplace. Very pretty one, but it is what it is. So I had to go with this white one here because that was the only one I could come up with that was about the same width as the other one but still decorative too. So um, I just added a few things, flipped a few things around this room just to kind of make it look, you know, like I wasn't missing anything, but give it some depth. And just added a few more plants and stuff and a little bit, you know, changed the uh, kitchen appliances just a little bit. Just, and, and the, here's where we're coming to where I'm, I'm trying to get to this boy's room, trying to, you know, flip flop things. I did change the color of the um, washer and dryer because I wanted that to be a little bit brighter. But here I am trying to work out these bunk beds, trying to figure out how I'm going to get this to set and make it look like bunk beds. But at first, nothing I was doing was working, but then I discovered something else as I was looking for other things to use. And I was like, okay, this will work. And so I went with this instead which was a thing that looked like a fence thing. And I decided to put that on each end and that I was able to shove it back more closer to the edge of the wall. So that didn't leave me that big gap that I have right there now. So I, yeah, I went with that. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, there is no stairs. I didn't put stairs because I thought about it. Actually, here's those little things I put in. I thought about it afterwards, maybe I should put the stairs, but I didn't, because really it doesn't work anyway, it's just a look, it's just really the look of having another bed in that room, <clears throat> because you know young kids, you buy, or you could put a dresser attached to this thing, like in some, because um, my kids had a uh, makeshift like dresser kind of drawers and stuff, that worked really well for where the steps went. So you could have that attached to it as well and make it, you know, look a little bit more functional, even though it really isn't functional. At least the top bunk. I mean, I didn't test it. I tested the bottom one, and I know the bottom one works. The little boy can go to sleep in there. But uh, I didn't test the top one to see if he could crawl up in there. I might ought to do that and just make sure. That would be something neat to see if I could make it work. So um, when I'm done here, I'll probably try to test it out and see if I can get him to sleep in that top bunk. <laughs> It'd be neat. Definitely neat. I had to change that table because where I moved it into my storage till I moved things around, it got rid of whatever that was on the top of it. So, <laughs> so I had to 
I just took it took it out and put it back in again. So that way it had that little it's a game or something like a little gaming table for a little boy and anyone else that comes to play with him. But I thought here in the backyard I would just make this a little bit bigger back here so we could put a uh, um, a grill and loungers and all that good stuff. And I really do wish they'd let me, I could have put that trim all the way around. That would have been nice, but oh well. <laughs> it kept cutting out the stairs, so I couldn't do that, but it's fine. Just for placing, I took that pine tree out in the front because really I think pine, I think Christmas. So I really didn't want to have the pine tree there with, with Christmas and everything being gone over with until next year, so, or this into this year, I mean now. So I decided to take the pine tree out, but the Christmas house will always be available. <laughs> Just probably won't be downloaded except once a year. <laughs> anyway, here we are in the screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and let you go and just uh, ask you if you um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Also, subscribe to my channel, and when you do, a little notification bell will pop up. Hit the notification bell and it'll notify you every time I post a new video. Guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope you like the new setup of the what used to be the Christmas house, now the Stanley house. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye y'all!